This is the Iron Trainer. It is Thursday morning. Now, the API numbers came out here yesterday at crude, and they were actually uh, pretty bullish. Uh, crude had a draw of 6.5 million. Uh, gasoline had a draw of 0.5 million. Uh, Dissels had a build of 2 million, but Cushing had a draw of 1.7 million. So now the EIA report uh, uh, on crude oil is going to be out today at 11 o'clock, and Vernada Gas is going to be out here at 10.30. So we got to keep your eye on it. Okay, this video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, come on to ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, let me bigger up a little bit here. Okay, so what did we have yesterday? We had this big red candle, went a little bit higher high, and it held half the all candle, that big engulfer. Now, <clears throat> today so far, we have this lower low situation. I never like to really like to see that here, okay? So now we're below this uh, 100 day. Right now, the current price is 79.01, and you're sitting at 79.09 uh, uh, here. So what we need to do here is we got to watch is this 21 SMA, okay? So you're sitting at 78.75, and then right below it, we have that 8 SMA sitting at uh, 78.51. Uh, now, again, if that is lost, that eight day is lost here, that 21 day and the eight day is lost, then what we do is we want to look here to the top of this candle. You're looking at uh, 7806. We look here at the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 7769. And then we come right over here. This is going to be key, 7755. And then we'll come right to the bottom here, 7725. Um, uh, we'll come here. You have 7643. And then your big retest here is 7615 uh, here. Now, again, there is a lot of good support here. We do have that 21 SMA. We do have the 8 SMA. So we want to watch that on a closing basis, okay? And we're pretty much pinned right here at this uh, 100 SMA. So let's just take a look here at the upside. So we have that 7909. And then what we have here is you've got uh, a 7911, which is just right above it. And then we have that 50 SMA. You're sitting at uh, 7939. And then we have your 200 day up here at 7993. So that's gonna be your resistance levels. Obviously, if it gets above that, we just look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 80.29, and then we look right there. You're looking at um, uh, 80.62 uh, is uh, yesterday's high. Now, there is a lot of also resistance here on this weekly. You have that 80.30, and we have this 80.47, uh, you know, just right pretty much, you know, right around this level right here. So this is all kind of jammed right on up here, this 100 day in that uh, 8 SMA. So you got to watch that because what I don't like about this 8 SMA, see how that's rolling over? See how it rolled over last time? See what happens? That's really just never really good here. Now we've got the OPEC meeting here coming here very, very soon. Uh, I believe it's this weekend. And so we got to see, I don't think they're going to make any changes or any cuts. They want uh, higher uh, Brent. They want between 90 and 100 uh, on Brent there. So we got to see how that's all going to shake out. So for today, here's what we want to watch. You want to watch this 100 day, this 79.09. We want to watch that 21 day at uh, 78.75. And then we want to watch that 8 SMA at 78.51. Those are your key support levels, key, key, key levels here, okay? If it closes below, well, then we, we can we know what we can follow it down. But right now, those are your key levels here. Um, on the upside, you definitely just want to watch right there. That's 7911 here, and we want to watch this 50 day at 7940. And then if we can get above that, you have your 200 day at 7993. So we got to see here how this is all going to shake out. Now, again, when you look at this whole chart here, uh, um, you, you could be building a pattern here. Okay, see where we have a left shoulder here. Then we have your head, and now this, as long as it doesn't go below that, that would negate the pattern. We could go sideways action here, and then you'd have that inverse head and shoulders pattern. But that's way off here. This is just just, just kind of trying to always look for patterns yeah, within the charts, okay? Just like we had here, where you had that head, your left shoulder, and your right shoulder, and then she came right on down. So we've got to see how this is all going to shake out here. But right now, just for today, okay, just watch that 21 day, and okay, and that uh that eight day and then we want to watch this hundred day we got to get close above all that really realistically then we can start heading for that uh, uh 200 sma here at your uh 79.93 but right now we're looking okay here because we still this engulfing candle is still very very much intact we start losing this here 
then we're going to go there and retest this very, very easily. Now, you look at your RSI here. We had that positive divergence. It went up here, but it doesn't seem like it could. there was any follow-through on it, okay? Now, here on your RSI, your green is above your red. It's showing you know, positive momentum, but again, that can roll over. It doesn't have a real big gap like we had here. See how when that, that came all the way on down, you had that big gap, and you can see where she's falling down. Same way here, we have that big uh, gap in the spread on that, and it took it right on up here nicely. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, you can see here on your weekly chart here you came right on down here but we're holding that key 50 simple moving average very very nice so maybe possibly as long as it can hold that it'll give it a chance for this 8 sma here to catch up okay so we had a nice bullish cross over the 21 day so we got to see if that can catch up your rsi here looks good <clears throat> and your macd here looks very very good now let's just see if we fill that gap okay so uh today's low here was so far was uh 2.629, okay? So there's your gap, and then we'll look at the top of this candle, 2.621. So the gap, you know, just by a smidge, it's not filled, okay? So we gotta see how this is all gonna shake out. However, we're right back above this key level here, this 2.66. Real time right now, Natty Gas is sitting at, uh, what do we have here, yeah. Uh, you're sitting at 2.67, okay? So you're sitting at 2.66. That's going to be your key level here, that 8 SMA. If not, we can follow that and fill that little bit of gap that's left there at 2.621. Okay, so again, if that's lost, <clears throat> we'll come right to the top of this candle, 2.57. That's going to be very, very key. And then we can look here to the bottom. Uh, this candle, we're looking at uh, basically 2.49, which lines up very, very nicely here with the 2.5. And then we have right below that at 2.455. But look at this 21 day, how nicely it's moving up here now, 2.42. Okay, that's very nice. See your 50 day running up here. If you can hold this key uh, 8 SMA here on a closing basis, we could have another run up and retest this here. So, okay, so never have no opinion. <clears throat> See, we could just run this very, very nice. So what we want to do is we want to look at the upside, um, what our resistant levels are here. Okay, so what we do is just look right to the left of the candle. So we're looking at 2.70. Okay, so that's it. So far today, we got a high of 2.67. So this is what you're looking for, 2.70. Again, if we get above that, then we follow the candles, 2.75, okay, 2.79, 2.85, and then there's your big retest there at 2.92. Now, the whole key is going to be holding that 8 SMA here for a nice uh, nice scalp key. So I'll be looking for a scalp here in uh, UNG here. Uh, if we can get that, this could be rallied right up here nice. We look for these resistance levels, but maybe we can even have a retest of yesterday's high. You're sitting at basically that 2.85 level, which is right there, okay? So that's where she went yesterday. Remember, we had that contract roll is in full blown. We're in a year in the July contract here now. So this is, this is where we are. It came right up here at 2.848, and there was your resistance at 2.851. See that? Very, very nice. Now, if you can say you can hold that, then we can just follow the candles up and maybe even get a retest. Now, again, if you can break out above that, then here's your next level. Bring that price channel right across, okay, is that 2.96. That's what you're going to be looking for, okay? That's going to be next. Then you can work yourself all the way on up here. There's a lot of good uh, resistance levels here all the way on up here. But we got to see how this all going to shake out. Now, again, I was just reading the weather reports earlier. They're predicting a very, very heavy... Uh, a hurricane season this year, a lot of storms, and then any kind of a disruption. Always remember, it's bad for people, but it's good if you're oil or natural gas trade because anything where they got to shut down rigs or they got to do this or some kind of a disruption, that always sends the price higher. Okay, again, bad for people, never good. Okay, never good. Okay, but again, when you're a trader here, we just look at here what is going to be the catalyst to send this thing higher or lower. That's the thing. So today, just watch that 8 SMA. If we can get above and just follow the candles, your next level, 2.707579.85, and there's your big retest. If we lose this, okay, say we lose today's low at that 2.629, you've got to come here and re obviously fill that gap. But we're really looking here for this 2.57, and you're looking to hold this here, this 2.50, and then we have your 200-day uh, at uh, 2.545, uh, and then right below it is your 2.42. 
Uh, again, for the week, which you have today and tomorrow, you really want to hold this key level here because last week, see, we had that topping tail situation. Now, if we can hold this, this can just be like a sideways action here and wait for that 8 SMA to, uh, you know, to crawl right back up here, get above that 50. We can send this price up much higher. Now, RSI here, you're looking very good here. This MACD, you kind of pinch together. That could do, you know, all you need is a little bit of price hike, and this here would take that right back up nicely. So overall here, this is looking really good as long as you can hold that key 8 SMA. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here for midday trading, and we'll see what natural gas is doing and what crude oil is doing, and then we always throw something else in the old mix. Now, remember, the EIA report for natural gas here is going to be out at 1030 today. So you know, always pay attention to that. And then on crude oil at 11 o'clock, that's another thing that you really want to pay attention to. Okay, so it's going to be a full day here of old trading. Okay, thanks for watching.